Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just start the warm up. Hopefully, we'll get some people jumping in on the Facebook, but we'll find out. Since you're all on Instagram Live right now, I think you know me. So go ahead and just start moving a little bit. We're going to reach them up, sweep them down, find a little bit of space. Alternate your feet, big reach and sweep. If you don't have any music playing, feel free to play it on your end. Can't play it on this side, unfortunately. No equipment needed today. Just uh, keep some water and a towel nearby. I'm going to try and keep a, a soft spot for your elbows as we work on the floor. I'm going to take your legs out wide, arms out wide. You're going to reach all the way across the body, touch that toe. All the way back up. <clears throat> As in any fitness class, feel free to modify, change, skip any exercise you want. There are always modifications for everything. We can make things work for you, you can make it work for yourself. Or if something doesn't work at all, just skip it, go and kick those heels on it. Squat down, you're gonna take a big twist, form it up your back a little bit, bring it down, and reach. Let's bring it back to standing, take those arms both out long, start small. Keep making your circles. Go and take them the other direction. Start small, slowly working bigger and bigger. It's so quiet. I have to get used to working out with no music. You're going to bring those arms all the way across. Give yourself a hug. I'm going to reach them out front. You're going to roll those wrists out. Round and round. Both directions. Finally, bring those hands on down. Gently roll your neck out. All the way one direction. All the way back the other direction. If you need to keep moving, keep warming up, please feel free to do so. Today, our exercises are broken down into three sections. In each section, we have four workouts. We're going to do those sections three times. Round one is going to be 40 seconds on. Round two is going to be 35 seconds on. Round three is going to be 30 seconds on. We're going to hit them right back to back to back. The first two are cardio. The second two are going to be our strength portion. And we're just going to go right in a row. You'll get about 15 seconds in between each one. And then we'll move on. We're doing each of them three times. Like I said, if you need modifications, if you need to skip something, feel free. Um, and I'll show, some, I'll show some options for some of the workouts 
But I'm going to show our first section and then we'll get into it. So you're, for number one and number two, you're going to take a back lunge. This is our cardio portion. And you're going to drive that knee through. The goal is to get a little hop up at the top. Option just to go back and forth. And the other option, step it back, step it up, step it back, and up. When we back lunge, the goal is to get both knees at 90 degrees front and back. And then drive it through. You're going to do the same thing on the other side for round two. Number three is just going to be good old push-ups. Straight up and down, you know the drill. Options here include coming down to the knees and pushing up. Or you can always come all the way down and then push up from the knees. Anything you need to do get to get through those push-ups. And then your last one, we're going to stay on the floor. We're going to do our swimmers. So engage our low back and our glutes. Reach, pick that chest up off the ground. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. And then all the way through, just like so. Glutes, low back, engage each time. Option here, keep the hands on the ground for the assist. We're going to go get started on section one. So we're going to do our back lunge and try and jump it through. 40 seconds on each side. Get it ready. And here we go. The goal is to get that foot up and off the ground each time. Feel free to start by jumping. And from any point you need to keep that foot on the ground, totally fine. And then if you need to even slow it down a little more, just right here, back step and up. Step and up. But right now the goal is to drive that knee through. And then in later rounds, if you need to slow it down, totally fine. We're almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Get ready for that other side. Shake that leg out. <laughs> 40 seconds was kind of long, I think, huh? <laughs> Second side, get ready. Here we go. Drive. And three. Oh, don't fall over like Get those arms working. Focus on your breath. Driving that knee through. Goal is to get up and off the ground each time. You never need to jump in your exercise though. Driving that knee through. Tying your breath. You got 10 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Find a nice spot to come on down for your push-ups. If all else fails, if you can't continue to push up, just maintain push-up position as long as you can. Keep your body straight, squeeze your abs. Bring it on down. Here we go. Trying to keep those elbows at 45 degrees. Keeping your abs tight. Keeping your glutes flexed. Driving the ground away from you. Squeeze at the top, pushing all the way through. At any point you need to, drop those knees down. Maintain a straight body. And pushing through. Less than 10 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Staying on your mat. All your contact is going to take place right here. You're going to keep your feet on the ground. And we're engaging our low back and our glutes. Here we go. Reach back behind you. Send them out front. Squeeze. And up. It's important to slow our breath, slow our heart rate while we're down on the ground. Hopefully you can see me. Squeezing up. If there's any pinching or any pain, you're going to skip this exercise. Your assist right here. Keep those hands on the ground. Gently press. Try to let your back do the work. But the hands are just there for the assist. Try to keep this a nice, smooth movement. You got three, two, one. Nice job. Quick drink. Do whatever you need to do. We're going to head straight into round two. It's going to be a 35-second round this time. 
We're going back to our back lunges. Get your drink, get ready. We're gonna head straight into it. And here we go, drive it through. At the beginning of the round, trying to get that foot up and off the floor each time. Back and drive. If you start to get a little tired, keep that foot planted, driving that knee through. Taking a break anytime you need to. And if you need even more, just step in here. Step in here. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Get ready for the other side. Remember to focus on getting those knees to 90 degrees. Your back knee is two inches above the floor. Ready, ready. 35 seconds here. We go back and drive. Use those arms to help you build that momentum to drive it through, almost like you're running. Keep up the pace, modify as you need. You're almost there, you got five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. We're gonna be back down on the floor for push-ups. Same rules apply. If at any point you can't push up anymore, you're trying to maintain this position, keep working your core, keep working your arms. 35 seconds, here we go. Sending those elbows out at 45 degrees. We don't want them at 90. We don't want them pinned against the body. This is where we slow that breath down. Slow our heart down. Focus on your breath. Nice job, you got 10 seconds. You got five. Four, three, two, and one. Staying on the floor for your swimmers. Remember, you're keeping the middle of your body planted to the floor, picking that chest up, squeezing your back every time. Get ready. And here we go. Drive them back and through. For now, we're keeping those feet on the floor. Reach and squeeze. And squeeze. These are a good one for those of us that find ourselves sitting around a little too much while we're stuck at home. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You got one more time through on these exercises. We have 30 second rounds. You're pushing hard, just a quick 30 seconds. Quick drink, grab your towel, whatever you need. Get you ready for this final round of section one. Get ready, 30 seconds. Here we go. Trying to get that foot up off the floor. At least at the beginning. Trying to time your breath. Inhale, exhale. Focus on it. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You're ready for the other side. Couple second break. Ready, ready, 30 seconds here. We go. Pick that foot up off the floor up each time. As long as you can. Nice work. 
Almost there, 10 seconds. Keep driving that knee. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Slow that breath down. Come back down to the floor. Push ups for 30 seconds. Find your position. Get ready. And here we go. Maintain your form here is more important than how many push ups you're making or getting through. You want to focus on that form. You're almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stay on the ground one more time for your swimmers. Bring it all the way down, getting ready. And here we go. Reach and squeeze. There. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Quick break, quick drink. And then I'm going to show you what's going on in section number two. Thank you, Mitchell. Nice class. Thanks for joining. All right, again, keep breathing. Slow that heart down. I'm going to show you what's going on in section number two. Number one is an ice skater. So you're going to be on one foot. You're going to drive and then head over to the other side. A couple options here. No need to jump. If you want to just step, totally fine. If you want to make it more cardio intensive, shorter jump, quicker step. If you want to work your balance, pause on each side. Big jump, pause, and out. Otherwise, you're going side to side, nice and quick. Number two, drop and up. Drop your feet down wide. You're coming up and down, nice and quick for drop squats. Number three, feet are wide, keeping your feet planted. We're coming all the way flat. You're coming all the way up, touching the floor each time. All the way back, all the way up. And then your last one here, staying right here. You're going to plant your hands. You're going to send your hips straight up off the floor. This is the reverse plank. Tap the ground, drive them up, tap, and drive. Hands are facing away from each other in this position. Let's get ready. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> 40 seconds on round one. Ice skaters at your own pace. No need to jump if you do not want to. 40 seconds here. We go. Side, two, side. Remember you can work your balance, you can land, and pause, and pause, just like so. Otherwise, shorten it up, and you're coming side to side. Nice and quick. Remember to breathe. Fifteen seconds. Less than 10, keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Drop squats for the next one. <laughs> Couple seconds. Feet are wide at the bottom. Up together at the top. Get ready. Here, wait, go. Really focus on your breath. Inhale down. Exhale up. Do your best to keep moving the entire round. You got less than 20, you're more than halfway there. <laughs> nice job. 
You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Taking a seat. Remember, you're keeping your feet wide, trying to keep those heels planted to the ground the whole time. This is our movement. Don't start yet. All the way back. All the way up to the front each time. Get ready. Here we go. I'm going to inhale on the way back. And exhale on the way up. Kind of time that breath, slow it down. Bring the heart rate down. You got 15 seconds. Try to keep moving. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Remember for this next one, backs to the ground. Hands are facing away from each other when you drive those hips up like a normal plank. Try to get your body nice and straight. Ankles, knees, hips. Shoulders in a line, touch the ground, end up hinging at the hips. You ready? Here we go. If this is too much on your wrists or your shoulders, your option here is to bridge both feet up and down. Otherwise, you're tapping the ground and shooting those hips up, squeezing those glutes and those hamstrings. See my watch. 15 seconds. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Quick drink. Round two. We got 35 seconds on each of these. We're hopping back into those ice skaters for number one. Let's get ready. Remember, you have a couple options here. You can step, you can hop. The shorter the hop, the quicker you're going. Otherwise, big step and bounce. Get ready, 35 seconds. Here, wait, go. Just trying to keep moving for this full 35. Try to maintain your pace, maintain your breath. Drive. Nice job. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. And one, nice work. Big, deep breaths. Focus on the inhale, exhale. We're heading into our drop squats for number two. Couple seconds. Here we go. Wide at the bottom, quick up top. Light on those feet. We don't want to hear your feet hitting the ground. You want to be light. Really focus on your breath. Ten seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're back on the floor for your sit-ups. Heels planted. All the way back, all the way up each time. 35 seconds. Here we go. Focus on the breath.
Just work. 10 seconds here. Keep moving. Finish this round strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stay in here. Fingertips facing away. Let those hips tap. And then drive it back up. Ready, ready. Here we go. Drive. Keeping that body straight at the top. Nice job. Drive those hips straight up. Hamstring, glutes engage every time. Almost at five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work one time. One more time through. 30 seconds each time. Quick drink, quick towel, and we're back on our feet for your ice skaters. If you got your water, go ahead and get it ready. 30 seconds, that's it. Try and keep moving this whole time. Ready, ready? Here we go. Quick. Feet moving, change it up, work your balance, whatever you need to do. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. One more round of drop squats, which I'm happy about. Just 30 seconds. Ready, ready. Final round of drop squats here. We go. Remember to be light on those feet. You want to land nice and soft. Trying to get those hips down to knee level every time. Every time. Almost there. Ten seconds. Focus on that breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up one more time. Alright again, sit-ups, feet planted all the way back, 30 seconds here, we go, reach. Just 30 seconds here, try and keep moving this whole round. Ten seconds. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Reverse planks one more time. Keep that form strong. Same rules apply to push-ups. Form is more important than reps. So if your form starts to break down, just go into a regular loop bridge. You got 30 seconds. Plant those hands here. We go. Drive them up. Keep driving. Almost there. You got 10 seconds. You got five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job, gang. Grab a sip of water, towel off. And we just have one more section for three rounds and we're done. The first one on this next section might be kind of tough. 
I'm going to run through our workouts for our last section here. To start, you're going to be in push-up position. You're going to come up and down on the elbows. So down to the elbows, back up, driving through. Mountain climb on each side. You're going to alternate up and down, driving through. Keep alternating up, down, mountain climb. One, two, three, four, just like so. If at any point it becomes too hard, just try and maintain your plank position. Otherwise, keeping that body nice and straight, coming up and down as quick as you can. Ready, ready, 40 seconds, first time through. Find your position, push your position to start, hands down. Ready, here we go, up and down, driving through. Down to the elbows, up to the hands, driving those knees through. Nice work here. Just 15 seconds. Keep moving. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Gonna be on your mat, on your back. Working our core and our cardio at the same time. All the way flat to start. This is a runner's crunch. One knee comes up at a time. Back, then alternate. Each time you try to come up to meet that knee, your goal is to touch your foot. All the way flat. And switch sides. 40 seconds. Here, wait, go. Oh, I didn't demonstrate this today. Coming up to meet that knee each time. All the way flat. Drive it up. Meet the knee. And switch. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stay on your mat. Stay on the floor. Your final two here. I don't think I showed them. I apologize. We're going to be working a single bridge. Your goal is to drive up and down off of one foot. So in that top foot, you're going to drive your heel like you're trying to kick it through the ceiling. Press the other heel straight into the ground. If at any point you need to bring your other foot down to assist, that is totally fine. Just try and keep moving. Ready, ready? Here, we go. Keep your hands down flat next to you, and keep driving that glute. Squeeze, heel drive straight into the ground. The other one, you're trying to kick up through the ceiling. 15 seconds. Almost there, less than 10. Five, four, three, Two and one. Nice work. You're going to stay here and head to the other side. Same rules apply. Don't worry about your reps here. Worry about your form. We want good form overall. That's how we reduce injuries. Get ready. Here we go. Drive that heel straight down. Another one kicks up through the ceiling. Breathe. Slow your heart down. Almost there. 15 seconds. Keep driving. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Flip it over. 35 second rounds. Back to that push-up position, down to the elbows. 
and then mountain climb. Quick drink of water if you need it. And then we're getting ready. All right, again, get ready. Start in that push up position. Hands down here. We go down to the elbows, up to the hands, drive them through. Down, up, and drive. If at any point you need to slow it down, take a break, just try and maintain a nice strong plank position either on your hands or your elbows, your choice. Almost there. 10 seconds. You got three, two, one. Nice job. On your back for your runner's crunch. Coming up to meet that knee every time. 35 seconds. Starting flat. You ready? Here. Wait, go. Time your breath with your movement. I'm up to be bending, drive it in as far as you can each and every time. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stay on the floor. You're gonna bridge. Stay on one foot as long as you can. That is your goal. 35 seconds on each side. Ready, ready? Here we go. One heel drive from the ground, the other one's going straight up in the air. Slow your breath down. Focus on your form. Just 10 seconds. You got five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Other side in a couple seconds. Shift those legs out. Get ready. 35 seconds here. We go. You always want to drive down through the heel. Try not to go up onto your toes. Keep the pressure straight into your heel, and then squeeze the glute. Almost there. 10 seconds. Breathe, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. One more time through, 30 seconds each, and then that's it, we'll cool it down after that. Grab your drink, your towel, and then get ready for your push-up position one more time. Two more minutes of work, and we're good to go. All right, again, get ready. Push-up position, 30 seconds, and here we go. Nice and steady. Focus on your breath. If you need a break, trying to maintain that plank position at the very least. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice job. Final round of your runner's crunch. Do not stop. You're trying to make it all the way through these 30 seconds. Stay in coach. Final time. 
here, wait, go, come up to meet that knee. Finish strong, keep pushing. Just 10 seconds here. Keep it going. You got three, two, and one. Nice job. One more set of bridge on each foot. Final minute of work here. Find your position. Get ready. One leg up, one leg down. Here we go. It's just 30 seconds. Driving into that heel. You're almost there. Just 10 seconds left on this side. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Final one here. Plant the foot. Kick the other one up. Ready, ready. 30 seconds here. We go. Finish strong here. Try and keep moving. Bring that other foot down if you need to finish. Otherwise, drive into that heel. 15 seconds. Almost there. Final 10. This is your last five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, gang. That's going to be it for our exercise today. We're going to do a couple cool down stretches, catch our breath, make sure you're drinking water. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for checking it out today. Appreciate it. Um, while we're stretching out and cooling down, I'm just going to run over our uh, upcoming schedule for today and tomorrow. Otherwise, awesome job. Let's do a couple quick stretches. We'll start on our feet, please. You're just going to hinge down. You're going to reach for those toes. Trying to keep those legs nice and straight. So we get that stretch coming up, the hamstrings, a little bit in the calves. And then just start to relax into the stretch. You're going to fold your arms. Hang heavy. Stay there for me. Slow your breath down. Go ahead and roll it up. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Staying on your feet. You're going to send your right leg over the left. You're going to bring it down one more time. Trying to keep both feet planted. Spread the weight evenly on both feet. Hang nice and heavy. Legs are staying straight. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Jen. Bring it back to standing. Keep your right over your left. You're going to take that right hand up and over. Left hand reaching. Under, trying to open up the side of that body. Big deep breaths, bring it on back. Send that left over the right, reach it on down. Who didn't I say hi to? Hi, Michelle. Mimi and Kevin, oh, it's good to see you. Oh, my mom's here. That's nice. <laughs> Holly, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. If anyone's still here and in the chat, and if you're, if you're in a Planet Grand Fountain Valley and I haven't met you, please, 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 anytime you're back in the gym, please say hi. You're going to come on up. Keep the legs crossed. That left hand reaching up and over, right hand underneath.
bring it on down. You're going to take your legs wide, you're going to take a squat, hands on the knees, then you're going to gently drop the shoulder in for a big twist to stretch out that back. If you're looking for something to do later today at 3 p.m. we have another yoga class, at 5 p.m. we have another yoga class. Tomorrow we have a nice full schedule, Monday 3.30. We have a 6 a.m. circuit training class, a 3 p.m. yoga class, 5 p.m. strong yoga, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, at 5 p.m. as well there's a fitness class, and at 6 p.m. there's a calisthenics class. We have Zach, that's going to be a cool class, so I'm going to check that one out. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you watching, man. If you haven't switched sides already, go and press into the other side. Go and bring it on up. And kick one leg back, stretching out those quads. Keep your knees nice and close to each other, holding on at the ankle. Just like so. Shooting your hips forward to help extend that stretch on the front side. Bring it on down, go ahead and switch sides. Bring it on down. We're going to reach your arms out long. You're going to round your back. And then bring it back the other way, open it up the front side from all those push-ups. Chest and your shoulders might be a little tight, squeeze those arms back. Final one here, bring your hands on down. You're just going to roll your neck out nice and easy. Thank you guys for attending today, for checking it out, really appreciate it. If you're looking for more things to do, if you're trying to stay active, we have lots of stuff coming up. We also have a full catalog on planetgranite.com. Just click back through all of the classes that have already happened. There's some great stuff on there. There's a bunch of yoga and fitness stuff. Um, otherwise, just keep checking the socials and the uh, website for updates. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. I'll stay on Facebook Live for just a few more minutes and uh, answer any questions or say hi. Otherwise, thanks for being here. Thank you, Mireya. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> My family's talking to each other on here. Mimi, you still there? Thanks, Mireya. Mireya, did you do the class, if you're still there? All right, gang, I'm going to go ahead and log off. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Anthony, I wish. That'd be nice. Thanks again. Appreciate you being here. See you soon. Bye.